2020 to 2024 extra class. FCC Element 4 Question Pool. Effective July 1, 2020. Edited by KI5DFU. June 2020. Subelement E4 Amateur Practices, 5 Exam Questions 5 Groups. Test Equipment, Analog and Digital Instruments, Spectrum Analyzers, Antenna Analyzers, Oscilloscopes, RF Measurements, Computer-Aided Measurements. Which of the following limits the highest frequency signal that can be accurately displayed on a digital oscilloscope? Answer, sampling rate of the analog to digital converter. Which of the following parameters does a spectrum analyzer display on the vertical and horizontal axes? Answer, RF amplitude and frequency. Which of the following test instruments is used to display spurious signals and or intermodulation distortion products generated by an SSB transmitter? Answer, a spectrum analyzer. How is the compensation of an oscilloscope probe typically adjusted? Answer, a square wave is displayed and the probe is adjusted until the horizontal portions of the displayed wave are as nearly flat as possible. What is the purpose of the prescalar function on a frequency counter? Answer, it divides a higher frequency signal so a low frequency counter can display the input frequency. What is the effect of aliasing on a digital oscilloscope caused by setting the time base too slow? Answer, a false, jittery low-frequency version of the signal is displayed. Which of the following is an advantage of using an antenna analyzer compared to an SWR bridge to measure antenna SWR? Answer, antenna analyzers do not need an external RF source. Which of the following measures SWR? Answer, an antenna analyzer. Which of the following is good practice when using an oscilloscope probe? Answer, keep the signal ground connection of the probe as short as possible. Which of the following displays multiple digital signal states simultaneously? Answer, logic analyzer. How should an antenna analyzer be connected when measuring antenna resonance and feed po point impedance? Answer, connect the antenna feed line directly to the analyzer's connector. Measurement technique and limitations, instrument accuracy and performance limitations, probes, techniques to minimize errors, measurement of Q, instrument calibration, S parameters, vector network analyzers. Which of the following factors most affects the accuracy of a frequency counter? Answer, time base accuracy. What is the significance of voltmeter sensitivity expressed in ohms per volt? Answer, the full-scale reading of the voltmeter multiplied by its ohms per volt rating will indicate the input impedance of the voltmeter. Which S parameter is equivalent to forward gain? Answer, S21. Which S parameter represents input port return loss or reflection coefficient equivalent to VSWR? Answer, S11. What three test loads are used to calibrate an RF vector network analyzer? Answer, short circuit, open circuit, and 50 ohms. How much power is being absorbed by the load when a directional power meter connected between a transmitter and a terminating load reads 100 watts forward power and 25 watts reflected power? Answer, 75 watts. What do the subscripts of S parameters represent? Answer, the port or ports at which measurements are made. Which of the following can be used to measure the Q of a series tuned circuit? Answer, the bandwidth of the circuit's frequency response. What is indicated if the current reading on an RF ammeter placed in series with the antenna feed line of a transmitter increases as the transmitter is tuned to resonance? Answer, there is more power going into the antenna. Which of the following methods measures intermodulation distortion in an SSB transmitter? Answer, modulate the transmitter using two AF signals having non-harmonically related frequencies and observe the RF output with a spectrum analyzer. Which of the following can be measured with a vector network analyzer? Answer, all these choices are correct. Input impedance. Output impedance. Reflection coefficient. Re receiver performance characteristics, phase noise, noise floor, image rejection, MDS, signal-to-noise ratio, noise figure, reciprocal mixing, selectivity, 
Effects of SDR Receiver Nonlinearity, Use of Attenuators at Low Frequencies What is an effect of excessive phase noise in a receiver's local oscillator? Answer, it can combine with strong signals on nearby frequencies to generate interference. Which of the following receiver circuits can be effective in eliminating interference from strong out-of-band signals? Answer, a front-end filter or pre-selector. What is the term for the suppression in an FM receiver of one signal by another stronger signal on the same frequency? Answer, capture effect. What is the noise figure of a receiver? Answer, the ratio in dB of the noise generated by the receiver to the theoretical minimum noise. What does a receiver noise floor of minus 174 dBm represent? Answer, the theoretical noise in a 1 Hz bandwidth at the input of a perfect receiver at room temperature. A CW receiver with the AGC off has an equivalent input noise power density of minus 174 dBm slash Hz. What would be the level of an unmodulated carrier input to this receiver that would yield an audio output SNR of 0 dB in a 400 Hz noise bandwidth? Answer, minus 148 dBm. What does the MDS of a receiver represent? Answer, the minimum discernible signal. An SDR receiver is overloaded when input signals exceed what level? Answer, the reference voltage of the analog to digital converter. Which of the following choices is a good reason for selecting a high frequency for the design of the if and a superheterodyne HF or VHF communications receiver? Answer, easier for front-end circuitry to eliminate image responses. What is an advantage of having a variety of receiver if bandwidths from which to select? Ans answer, receive bandwidth can be set to match the modulation bandwidth, maximizing signal-to-noise ratio and minimizing interference. Why can an attenuator be used to reduce receiver overload on the lower frequency HF bands with little or no impact on signal-to-noise ratio? Answer, atmospheric noise is generally greater than internally generated noise even after attenuation. Which of the following has the largest effect on an SDR receiver's dynamic range? Answer, analog to digital converter sample width in bits. How does a narrowband roofing filter affect receiver performance? Answer, it improves dynamic range by attenuating strong signals near the receive frequency. What transmit frequency might generate an image response signal in a receiver tuned to 14.300 MHz and that uses a 455 kHz if frequency? Answer, 15.210 MHz. What is reciprocal mixing? Answer, local oscillator phase noise mixing with adjacent strong signals to create interference to desired signals. Receiver performance characteristics, blocking dynamic range, intermodulation and cross-modulation interference, third-order intercept, desensitization, preselector. What is meant by the blocking dynamic range of a receiver? Answer, the difference in dB between the noise floor and the level of an incoming signal that will cause 1 dB of gain compression. Which of the following describes problems caused by poor dynamic range in a receiver? Answer, spurious signals caused by cross-modulation and desensitization from strong adjacent signals. How can intermodulation interference between two repeaters occur? Answer, when the repeaters are in close proximity and the signals mix in the final amplifier of one or both transmitters. Which of the following may reduce or eliminate intermodulation interference in a repeater caused by another transmitter operating in close proximity? Ans answer, a properly terminated circulator at the output of the repeater's transmitter. What transmitter frequencies would cause an intermodulation product signal in a receiver tuned to 146.70 MHz when a nearby station transmits on 146.52 MHz? Answer, 146.34 MHz and 146.61 MHz. What is the term for spurious signals generated by the combination of two or more signals in a nonlinear device or circuit? Answer, intermodulation. Which of the following reduces the likelihood of receiver desensitization? Answer, decrease the RF bandwidth of the receiver. 
What causes intermodulation in an electronic circuit? Answer, nonlinear circuits or devices. What is the purpose of the preselector in a communications receiver? Answer, to increase rejection of signals outside the desired band. What does a third-order intercept level of 40 dBm mean with respect to receiver performance? Answer, a pair of 40 dBm input signals will theoretically generate a third-order intermodulation product that has the same output amplitude as either of the input signals. Why are odd-order intermodulation products created within a receiver of particular interest compared to other products? Answer, odd order products of two signals in the band of interest are also likely to be within the band. What is the term for the reduction in receiver sensitivity caused by a strong signal near the received frequency? Answer, desensitization. Noise suppression and interference, system noise, electrical appliance noise, line noise, locating noise sources, DSP noise reduction, noise blankers, grounding for signals, common mode currents. What problem can occur when using an automatic notch filter, ANF, to remove interfering carriers while receiving CW signals? Answer, removal of the CW signal as well as the interfering carrier. Which of the following types of noise can often be reduced with a digital signal processing noise filter? Answer, all these choices are correct. Broadband white noise. Ignition noise. Power line noise. Which of the following signals might a receiver noise blanker be able to remove from desired signals? Answer, signals that appear across a wide bandwidth. How can conducted and radiated noise caused by an automobile alternator be suppressed? Answer, by connecting the radio's power leads directly to the battery and by installing coaxial capacitors in line with the alternator leads. How can radio frequency interference from an AC motor be suppressed? Answer, by installing a brute force AC line filter in series with the motor leads. What is one type of electrical interference that might be caused by a nearby personal computer? Answer, the appearance of unstable modulated or unmodulated signals at specific frequencies. Which of the following can cause shielded cables to radiate or receive interference? Answer, common mode currents on the shield and conductors. What current flows equally on all conductors of an unshielded multi-conductor cable? Answer, common mode current. What undesirable effect can occur when using an if-noise blanker? Answer, nearby signals may appear to be excessively wide even if they meet emission standards. What might be the cause of a loud roaring or buzzing AC line interference that comes and goes at intervals? Answer, all these choices are correct. Arcing contacts in a thermostatically controlled device. A defective doorbell or doorbell transformer inside a nearby residence. A malfunctioning illuminated advertising display. What could cause local AM broadcast band signals to combine to generate spurious signals in the MF or HF bands? Answer, nearby corroded metal joints are mixing and re-radiating the broadcast signals.